Yo, what is going on guys and welcome back to another video here on Hypixel Skyblock and today we are going to be making ourselves a tarantula armor. I mean, uh, a lot of people have been using this thing, this uh, set, and they've especially been using it over at the end as well. I'm kind of curious as to how good this thing could possibly be. It does a lot of damage and a lot of people get, <laughs> like, I don't know, up to 2 million damage. They can't even get up to as much as like 5 million if they wanted to, if they get the most hits out of everybody, but yeah, I mean... <laughs> I don't know, dude, this uh, armor set is pretty good. And a lot of people have been using the tarantula helmet as well, the most, because it gives you, like, extra crit damage depending on how much strength you have. Using the tarantula helmet with the uh, strong armor set or even the new blaze armor, like frozen blaze armor, whatever. I think that'll be a good combo to have, not gonna lie, but I guess uh, we'll see how decent this set could actually be. But yeah, anyways, you're gonna need, like, 28 stacks of uh, tarantula webs, which isn't really bad, and then you also need 7 stacks of uh, enchanted flint, and then you get like 14 tarantula silk and then you need 13 enchanted iron to make the rest of the set also the spider boots i think is what it's called and then the spider catalyst as well so that you can actually make the tarantula boots i think that's how you make this right nope that is how you make the boots this like that and then bop 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 there we go tarantula boots all right swing ourselves this full tarantula set kind of want to test it out and see how good this thing could possibly be because the tarantula helmet like each piece comes with its own like bonus i think it's on all of them uh, actually the chest plate doesn't have one but the helmet most people use this over any other like helmet on the certain dragon armor yes i would say like the strong one mainly and unstable or whatever armor you know you can have extra crit damage if you wanted to extra bonus radioactive one percent crit damage per 10 strength that's why most people use this thing and then the chest plate antitoxin immune to healing reduction and then the leggings has no extra piece bonus the boots you get the double jump ability and it costs less than the previous boots like the spider boots whatever it costed like 50 mana but this one costs up to 40 mana instead and then if you take a look at the health and defense i mean it's pretty good you get a lot of health mainly and then defense as well you also get some intelligence you get 100 200 intelligence well 250 actually plus five speed on your boots and then i think that's it yeah 709 extra health and then if you put this full set on we got 1059 health and then 384 defense and then with our mana we're at 452 that's almost like a dragon Dragon set basically if you put on a full wise or like two fourths of it i mean three fourths of it you get up to like 300 but yeah i mean it depends on the set of the dragon armor and then with the full set bonus octo dexterity is uh, every four strike deal double damage and apply venom reducing healing by 40 percent for four seconds that's pretty decent you can deal like double damage every four strike which is uh, pretty good and then our crit damage we're at 270 percent if we were to take this off how much crit damage would we be at uh so at 270 uh, extra bonus plus one crit damage per 10 strength i mean we're still at the same crit damage I'm Unless you gotta wait until it like procs later. Or do we have to hold like a sword? Wow. Oh. Well, it looks like you gotta hold a weapon that has strength. Then our pigment sword up to 400. I thought our raider axe had more strength. Wait. Actually, never mind. What am I talking about? It's because of our actual crit damage on this raider axe. Like, it's at 68 versus the pigment sword where it's at 130. So, obviously, we're gonna have more crit damage with our pigment sword. I don't really know much about this set yet, so... Yeah, I can't really judge it right now. Let's go see how much this uh, force strike does against like mobs and stuff. Can't really test it on these guys, dude. I mean, unless um, let's use our pigment sword for now. So that's one, two, and then three, and then let's see here the fourth. Oh, well, that's great, dude. Give us a regular damage. I think you have to keep on hitting the same mob consistently in order for this to work. So, if we want to see this in action, we're going to have to go against, like, the Slayer bosses and all that. If we want to see this actually work. I guess we could test it out with, like, our regular, I guess, punches. 322, 313, 155 plus. Oh, 155 plus? Is that when it does, like, the extra 4 crit damage then? Or whatever? 604. Oh. So, it does a plus sign when you, when your 4 strike actually procs so it has like a plus sign next to your crit damage or damage wise so that's how you can tell when your four strike actually procced i guess oh, yeah, i totally forgot that i had jump boost dude oh man i'm gonna be jumping consistently i don't know what you would want on this set either godly or wise wise i can only see it being good because of the double jump ability so that you can have some extra intelligence that you want to use extra mana and all that but uh, having godly though Having extra crit damage, I mean, that'll be good to have. What should I go for for this reforging? If it's 1% crit damage per 
10 strength on his helmet might as well fully enchant this thing dude uh we have all the enchants that we need in here hopefully hopefully we have protection five on all these books dude and we don't mess it up well then from 1059 health to like what 1359 and then 452 defense instead of 300 and whatever like 60 that we had before yeah this thing is uh fully enchanted and now we just gotta go ahead and reforge it i don't know if i want to go for godly not gonna lie but <sighs> we'll see dude we'll see how much uh money we're gonna be spending on this thing <laughs> with my luck currently dude getting godly is uh gonna be difficult <laughs> it's gonna take me a while but we'll see and i can't even see what enchant i got oh i got godly <laughs> Would you look at that, dude? Oh, I think I should just uh, leave it so that I can't see the reforging. And then I can be, like, lucky and all that. First set, we got Godly on our helmet. Oh, then isn't that amazing, dude? I can't wait to spend, mi like, a mil on this set. You know what? <laughs> I'm not even gonna try to go for Godly anymore, bro. I'm just gonna stick with half-half, you know? Half uh, wise and half uh, Godly. I'm spending too much money on this set, even though I'm probably not even gonna be using it too much. So, <laughs> yeah, I'll be testing it out and just see how yeah, someone decent the second be but yeah right now i'm just gonna keep it as is you know we have some mana at least up to 590 since the strength doesn't work i mean there's only one way i could test this thing out and uh see if it does do something at least yeah let's go ahead and see this helmet is even good 27,000, 27,000, that's our second hit. We're gonna test it out with our unstable. I need a helmet though, hold on. Plus seven, let's see. So yeah, this is gonna be the same. Plus seven, plus seven, okay. Found our helmet that we could test this thing out. Let's see if we do the same amount of crit damage, dude. Let's uh, let's go ahead and find out, right? Our stats should be the same, I'm pretty sure. Let's see, 347 crit damage, 198 strength. And then 198 strength, 347 crit damage, so the same thing. All right, let's uh, see. Pigment sword, 29,000, 29,000, 29,900, 29,900 again. All right, let's uh, see with the raider axe real quick, shall we? 21,916. Let's uh, put on the tarantula helmet, shall we? And then, uh, oh, does it actually work? Oh, 33. Oh, okay. It actually does work. All right, try on your helmet. You're not fake. You are actually real. I was having doubts, dude. Not gonna lie. thought this helmet actually did not work, but it's a good thing I tested it out like that. 33,000 with that one. Oh, this one isn't gonna matter. I'm gonna say combine it. So yeah, 32,000. Yes, yeah, it's not gonna matter. It's still like 10 strength, basically. Actually, it does have less uh, crit damage as well. <laughs> if it's doing this much uh, crit damage, 32,000. With this strength that I have on versus the unstable set where it has like a lot of crit damage, dude. And I'm only 1,000 crit damage away. Imagine this uh, blaze armor it was a legendary. And then, you know, I would get up to 10 extra crit damage. Yeah, it would definitely surpass the unstable dragon set without a doubt. Well then, looks like uh, having full godly on this set would be nice then. 7 times 4, that'll only be up to 28 extra strength. Assuming it does stack up like plus 7 or whatever. Right now, I only have 14 like strength. So I would have to get another uh, piece i believe seven times three that'll be 21 i can go for like another godly piece on these uh pieces so i can just like keep one wise and uh i'll be good obviously i have to go ahead and test out this uh four strike ability i don't know what boss i wanted to go up against it but i guess i'm just gonna go against the tarantula boss uh, tarantula brute father whatever i might use my regeneration pot for this fight <laughs> not gonna lie i don't really want to waste like strength five or critical three but whatever yeah, do I want to waste a regen? Budgie, dude. We're gonna go with dodge. If we die, we die. <laughs> but I guess uh, we'll see. Tier 3 boss. Should I use the weird tuba? I could use the weird tuba. We're using the weird tuba. Budgie. And our strength 5, we gain like 40 extra. <laughs> so I'm gonna use these pots. And then I'm gonna go over to the end. Let's see how much like crit damage we do with this uh, like helmet plus the extra stats. The stat boost that we got just now. And then I guess we can also combine it with the weird tuba. Get 30 extra strength. Just uh, see how much damage we do. Do, but for now let's see how much we do with this set that we have on so 33,000 okay and then if we were to wear our unstable like set so 33,000 before we do 39,000 now so and uh, with 236 strength 377 extra crit damage with strength 5 critical 3 we went up uh 6,000 extra crit damage then our raider axe 29,000 Okay, okay. And then if we use our weird tuba, let's see. 43,000. Whoa. 
Yo, okay, 43,000. So 30 extra strength. So that's 70 extra strength plus this uh, 10, 20, 30. Now I see extra crit damage and all that with this unstable set. Dude, we be doing some damage with this set, bro. Imagine if I had the maxed out strength, whatever it is, like what, strength 10 or something. Having that critical four or five. I think there's critical five, I believe, that you could get up to and then get the max out strength pot. And then, uh, yeah, dude, you'll be, <laughs> be doing a lot of damage. Let's see how much damage would you do against these spiders regularly Let's see so 26,000 with this set with my unstable set i do like uh, i think the same amount to be honest uh, if we use our unstable set we do 31,000 instead and uh, there goes my <laughs> oh boy my differences so that's why I do. I do not want this to be different. Let's, uh, let's make sure that this is the same. All right. So we're at five each, right? Yeah, we're at five each. Even though I'm probably just gonna be wearing my helmet anyways. But yeah, dude, we'll see. There we go. I think we did like 43,000 against that boss right there. But I normally just like switch between weapons to do like a lot of damage, and that thing died within two hits. Uh, did I do 40,000? I think I did 40,000. But here we go. All right, let's see how much uh, we normally do. 22, 45. Okay, so in our fourth strike, like procs or whatever, then uh, yeah, we do like more damage. But uh, let's see. I mean, I mean, this is pretty good. Okay, so we went from like 23,000 crit damage all the way up to 43,000. So yeah, this uh, full set bonus actually does work and it's uh, pretty good. It only took us 35 spiders to kill and then we spawned in the boss. Not too bad, dude, not too bad. So if we were to have our unstable set, I mean, it doesn't really matter. You have to wear this full set, but imagine though, we did have our unstable set and then the full set of build, like the full set bonus worked, the double damage every four strike. And now we would be doing like six 60,000 crit damage against that thing instead of like 30,000 whatever but sometimes I think it'll do like 29,000 even yeah I did like 23,000 and then we went up like 40,000 whatever crit damage full set bonus it works for sure not gonna lie I wasn't really paying attention to my health so I don't know how much damage it did and besides other randoms just came by and just uh started attacking it I mean I wonder does it do more damage than my full unstable set I want to go see real quick I think we do actually I'm not sure 29,000 Oh, 36,000. Oh, well. Actually, we have our <laughs> pots proc. I was like, wait. <laughs> I do not remember doing this much damage before, dude. But, uh, yeah, 36,000. Then if we wear our tarantula helmet. 39,000. Okay. So, yeah, having the tarantula helmet plus the unstable set is, uh... Better than having the unstable dragon helmet, whatever. Did I really do regular damage when I had 100% crit chance? You did 5,000. You guys saw that, right? <laughs> Hello? Okay, whatever. Unless uh, that was my cleave, but I don't think so. Anyways, we just made this uh, tarantula armor today. I thought it was trash at the beginning, but uh, you know, I tested it out later and uh, it's actually good. The helmet, better say. <laughs> this was uh, overhyped, but it's not. It's actually good. But, yeah, having the tarantula helmet is good. You don't really have to go for the full set bonus if you don't want to, unless you want that like four strike. To, <laughs> if you want to go against like the dragon boss or anything, then having the full set bonus is good. But other than that, you can't really get the full set bonus. Just go for the helmet at least and then uh it'll be good you know just wear that over any other whatever gear you have like iron armor or i don't know leather armor for those of you that just wear leather armor for some reason i don't know <laughs> who knows man leather armor could be good you know <laughs> it might be better than any other sets out there but nah anyways dude i'm gonna be ending the video thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one peace out